The second leg of the stool of stewardship is that of talent. Franz Liszt, I'm sure you've heard of, he was a world-renowned composer in the 19th century, probably its greatest uh, pianist, uh, and of course he became a celebrity uh, throughout the world. Uh, but he was also a man of great faith, good Catholic, and he spent his time, talent, and his treasure uh, giving glory to God. He gave charitable concerts uh, for orphanages and for disaster relief. He tutored kids that couldn't afford to get a good tutor to play a piano, uh, etc. Uh, and in the end, he became uh, a monk and then he died very humbly as he had wished and went into a humble grave. But he was an example of a man who knew that his gifts had come from God, his great talent had come from God, and so he used that talent to give God greater glory. As I walk through our church sometimes, I hear people uh, singing, and they sing really well, they're talented, but will they give their time and their talent uh, to uh, praise the Lord at Sunday worship, at Christmas, and Easter, etc., join the choir? Uh, many of our young people know how to play uh, several instruments and they do it for school, they play for school, they play for concerts in town, etc. But what about the Lord? Uh, people who can teach, uh, people who are good at floral design, people who are good at all kinds of uh, the talented uh, pursuits. Uh, they will use them for others but not uh, for our local parish and for the Lord. Now, I wish we would change that. I wish we would see what God has given us. All good things come from God and then return it to him uh, in such a way as is pleasing to him and of course gives him that greater glory.